You'll be okay. All right. Hi, I'm Aubrey, and this is what's your name? Aubrey. Aubrey. And it's a cozy writing day, and we are reading stories together, all snuggled up. And so we thought we would read a story to you guys. So our story today comes from the Jesus Storybook Bible, and it's called The Forgiving Prince, which just starts on page seventy-six. You ready? Ready. Okay. Let's do it. Jacob had 12 sons, but of all his sons, Joseph was his favorite. That's Joseph. One day, Jacob gave Joseph a splendid new robe. It was beautiful and rich with all the colors of the rainbow, but it made Joseph's brothers jealous. They wanted rich rainbow orange. robes too. Yeah. yeah. Orange, white, pink. All the rainbow colors are in this robe. Then to make matters worse, Joseph kept on having special dreams. I dreamed I was the greatest, I was king, Joseph told his brothers, and you all bowed down to me. Now I'm sure you know, even if Joseph didn't, that telling your brothers things like this isn't a very good idea. Joseph's brothers hated him even more. They wanted to kill Joseph and his dreams. And one day, that's exactly what they tried to do. They tore Joseph's rainbow robe off of him. Oh no, that's so mean. And Joseph to was sold as a slave to slave traders for 20 pieces of silver. Oh my goodness, that's so sad. The traders took Joseph to Egypt and made him into a slave. The brothers went home and lied to their father, telling him that Joseph was dead. That's the end of that dreamer, they thought, but they were wrong. God had a magnificent dream for Joseph's life, and even when it looked like everything had gone wrong, God would use it all to help make the dream come true. God would use everything that was happening to Joseph to do something good. And got out of rainbow face. Yeah, his rainbow robe, they took it away. Meanwhile, though, things were not looking good for Joseph in Egypt. He was far from home and far from his dad and his siblings. Then he got blamed for, ev for something he didn't do. And even though he had done nothing wrong, he was punished and thrown in jail. But God had not left Joseph, just like he never leaves us, right? He's always with us. One night, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, had a scary dream about thin cows gobbling up fat cows. What on earth did it mean? He didn't know, but Joseph was a dream expert, so Pharaoh sent for him. It means a famine is coming, Joseph explained. There won't be enough food. So a famine is when there's not enough food for everybody. Wouldn't that be so sad? Yeah. Pharaoh was so pleased by Joseph's skill that he immediately took Joseph out of jail and made him a prince. Now back home, Joseph's brothers had run out of food and everyone was hungry. God's special family was in danger. If they didn't get food soon, they would starve to death. So Joseph's brothers traveled to Egypt to buy food. They came and knelt before the new prince. Look, he's a prince. He has a crown on his head. Mm-hmm. His brothers didn't know that the prince was Joseph, but Joseph knew who they were. Joseph's dream, the one about his brothers bowing down to him, was coming true. It's me, Joseph cried. It's me. When they saw it was Joseph, his brothers were afraid. They were really scared. They had wronged Joseph. They had sinned, and they knew it. Now Joseph would certainly punish them. But Joseph looked at his brothers, and his eyes filled with tears even though his brothers had hurt him and hated him and wanted him dead, in spite of everything, he couldn't stop loving them. His heart, where's your heart? Right here, your heart? No. No, that's not where your heart is. His heart, which they had broken, filled up with love and Joseph forgave them. Joseph threw his arms around them. Don't be afraid, he said. Behind what you were doing, underneath everything that was happening, God was doing something good. God was making everything right again. <laughs> Joseph didn't punish them. He rescued them. He brought God's special family to live safely with him in Egypt. One day, God would send another prince, a young prince, whose heart would break. Like Joseph, he would leave his home and his father. His brothers would hate him and want him dead. He would be sold for pieces of silver. <laughs> He would be punished, even though he had done nothing wrong. But God would use everything that happened to his young prince, even the bad things, to do something good to forgive the sins of the whole entire world. 
What do you think about that? The end. Did you like that story? I thought that was a good one. All right, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>